Well, first of all, tell me how you guys came to be in the show. I think Chloe and Andrew is really funny actually because Chloe and Andrew got a hold of us um, individually. And then, but the funny part was me and Reza had met a week before and we we're like, this friendship is already taking off. Like, I think we should work together. And then all of a sudden they messaged me and there was like, you want to work with Reza? Do you want to do a show with Reza? And I was like, yes, 100% in. So, same I think thing. that's how it came together. Yeah, same thing. They just contacted me with this proposal and said, um, do you want to be part of this exhibition working with Graham Weave and the Traveling Sign Painters? And the concept itself was just so interesting. And uh, I felt that if I w was to work with anyone, it would be someone like Graham, because mm -hmm. just our work responds to one another both aesthetically but as well conceptually and to be able to use that whole concept of weed pasting you know is a, is a thing that I probably won't be doing again but to be able to do it in this context in an institution like graffiti gallery exactly. with someone like Graham you know like I couldn't say no so so tell me what are they doing with your groups of uh, photographs how are they assembling them I think it was pretty self-curated, hey? It was. We so, a lot of so me and Graham, once they told us, okay, well, here's our concept, cohesive devices, essentially, me and Graham met one another and went through our work. And they told us that they wanted six images from me, six images from Graham for a total of 12. And we just tried to find images that really respond to one another, taking into account what the cohesive devices are. And so, you know, we went through a couple of iterations until we finally chose the, the 12 that you're actually seeing right now at the Graffiti Gallery. And uh, mention some of the elements that you had to decide upon in, in, in the photographs to, to help your, your decisions. Sure. So, like, with some of the decisions, it was like, Graham would be like, well, this is the image that I want to use. So, for example, both of us use images of our mothers. Mm. And so I gave my image to Graham, and Graham gave his and image. Responded, yeah. And then he was like, we'll find two pieces that respond to our mothers, right? And so mm -hmm. that could be texture, that could be color, that could be the concept, you know, it could be a thematic a aspect to it. And so we really went through that and decided upon what works best and showed it to one another and, you know, like that, that's perfect, you know? Right. So the curators had no, it was up to you guys to yeah. put it yeah. together? So essentially what they did in terms of curators, they're the ones that brought in the traveling sign painters to, after they looked at all their images, to really find colors, mm -hmm. um, types of typography that really brings out certain elements right. of the pieces. And then once that was done, once we started weed pasting them, that's when the conversations emerged between both me, Graham, and Synonym. Chloe and Andrew so and that was really interesting as well because you know we had a certain vision a certain idea and they would have their own input or ideas as well and so you know a lot of good dialogue emerged from just those discussions we had here it was, mm. a, it was a good balance too because it was. like we know each other so well that we just go to each other's houses go through our like archives of photographs and then um, choose that way which was really nice it's not somebody coming into your studio or coming into your space it's sort of we got to choose they gave us feedback, and then the... It was never forced, it was a natural process, mm -hmm. and so that's what was really refreshing about this whole project. For sure. Have you ever, either of you ever worked in text, uh, combined text with the images, or, and if, if not, what's it like for the first time? I, I don't think I ever have before. I know we have, uh, we're talking about maybe working with it a little bit more now, but um, yeah, I've never worked with it before. It's interesting, though. It is. It's a very different dialogue when you see something. Um, written specifically because it gives it uh, reference to other things but it was interesting yeah and same for me like it was the first time I was actually working with my own personal work with text mm -hmm. I have worked with like appropriate images and text and really kind of deconstructing the image with the use of text but this is a whole new uh, concept for me but it's been really interesting to start really thinking about mm -hmm. how the text can interplay with the images right sure. And um, so, what are uh, you mentioned some of the pros of working together as a team? Uh, what are what are both pros and cons of say a teaming up uh, as two photographers? Mm -hmm. Photography is a notoriously independent. It is, art and form. there's a lot of ego that goes with it, right? It's kind of you know, it's my way or no way. <laughs> but and that's and that's something that I have been prone to. And I know probably you know, I don't want to speak on Graham's behalf, but I know he is an independent. You know, works with his own. 
aesthetic and his own vision. But and I think the reason why it worked out so well is because we both share the same vision. Mm -hmm. We both approach photography with the same um, process. ideas, process, using a very basic snapshot mm -hmm. camera, mm -hmm. you know, just with working with point and shoot cameras. Just our personalities too. And our personalities as well, you know. So I think working as a duo now mm -hmm. is something both of us have benefited from. Mm -hmm. And we're now actually thinking of actually continuing this relationship with other projects. Mm -hmm. nice. So because of this, you know, we've been able to now continue and start thinking about other things we want to work together because it's been such an easy process. For sure. And what, what about, say, having your work shown in a venue like Graffiti Gallery? Like, what is, uh, is that the, uh, that affect which pictures you pick to and stuff like that? Or, or is it just more interesting to have them large on the wall like that? I don't know if it affected necessarily the uh, photographs that we were choosing because it's sort of exciting bringing a photograph that you normally wouldn't show outdoors or something like that into a very contemporary, contemporary gallery. And especially the setting that we had, um, I don't know. I don't think I would ever would ever try that anywhere else or do that anywhere else, um, especially not in a different gallery. But this gallery, it's sort of gritty and that plays with our work a lot. It does. So, good. That's interesting. And I think one thing too, I mean, for me, and this is a discussion both me and Graham had, but because this, after the, the exhibition has run its course, you know, they'll be taking these panels, putting them outside. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so we really thought about that and thought about just the whole concept of advertisements and mm -hmm. images being outside, you want a quick response. Mm, and yeah. me, you know, working with landscapes and Graham working with more, you know, his own personal life and friends and all that, we're really finding, trying to find images that would evoke a certain reaction from the public. Mm. That maybe otherwise, you know, in a gallery space it's different, right? Because we're for people are coming through to see the work and, you know, there's certain appreciation there, but here, we don't know who our viewership is. Mm. Yeah. So we're trying to make it as accessible as possible. Mm. And that's, I think, one thing that we really discussed and thought about in, in the selection of images. Nice. Um, could you individually tell me, uh, maybe just to end off, uh, some of your influences, and it doesn't even have to be photographers, it could be music, filmmakers, anything, just maybe maybe you start? Sure. Um, so <laughs> me, <laughs> with, in, with photography, a lot of uh, new topographics, so Stephen Shaw, Robert Adams, people that really played with the whole idea of space, the perception of space. Um, in terms of filmmakers, you know, everyone from Kubrick, Wong Kar Wai, um, you know, New Wave, Jean-Luc Godard, German New Wave, Rainer, Werner, Fassbender. So a lot of that has really played into it and just again, a lot of them really made work that was very much so accessible. Mm but had that underlying depth. And so I've really used that in my own work and have been influenced by their concepts and themes that they have really played with and discussed and shown. Perfect, right? I think for me, um, I do a lot, a lot of research on photographers and I like to look at a lot of photography online. Um, but I've been getting more into like getting photo books and trying to take out photo books in the library and do all that. So I've been interested in a lot of um, photographers who work in photo books. Um, Alex Soth I really like. And then um, just the Willie Magelson, the, the king of photo books. But um, I look at a lot of poetry as well, especially when I guess I'm uh, titling a body of work or having a show and it needs a title. So. Ooh.